We're going to be talking about polygamy. Ooh. Touchy subject. Yeah, a lot of people are nervous about that. Why? Because I think most women feel like, nah, you don't need no other woman. I'm enough woman for you. All right, all right. Y'all can see the neck moving already. Big shout out to the ladies moving their necks right now. <laughs> 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 On some shit. Like, fuck that. I'm more than enough for any man. And if you want that, blah, 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 blah. But I think what generally tends to happen in most relationships is you generally take your man for granted and you and you take your wife for granted. Do you? Yeah, after a while, it's like it's Taco Tuesday every day. <laughs> Except the Taco Tuesday, I'm just saying. No, I'm wrong with Taco Tuesdays. I yeah, love well, tacos. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, tacos are like, eh, another taco? Jesus Christ, can I get something else? <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, the, the funny thing is, is that as far as polygamy goes when you do your research, it's always been one man, multiple wives. Right. And now because women are so empowered, now they're like, well, shit, why can't I have me a dude if you're going to have you a chick? That's too much testosterone. Yeah, we're not feeling that. But it could be a problem, too, when there's too much estrogen in the house. Yeah. Because you know how it goes when you got two women in the house. Then yeah, then they wind up being on the same cycle. Then it, ah, it kind of defeats the whole purpose of having two wives. Right. But I guess if you're smart enough to maybe have two different households. That's too much traveling. Nah, you just get something across the street. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out to me for thinking that. I guess if you're balling like that. I mean, mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. well, you only got a cosign on two loans. <laughs> 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 get you a woman that's doing it. Now, the vast majority of instances where you have polygamy are in Islamic countries. Right. And there's a big push for it, of course, in, you know, states like Arizona, Utah, you know, where it's a concentration of white people trying to be Mormons. Yeah. We saw the white people that found a way to get in the game. Black people, not so much. I mean, I, I haven't, the only, the only black person I really know, that I don't know anybody personally, but the only black person I know of is like Akon. He's Akon, got like yeah. four wives. Yeah, four or five. We saw the Akon. Like that's that. another level. It's another level. Man, he's African. Yeah, he's like, what is going on, my yeah. dear? Yeah. We that kind of African. Except the, the Africans. We all Africans in our in our own strange way. Yeah. Some of us buy a boat. Some of us buy plane. Oh, you admitting it today? Yeah. Oh, I've always said. Well, yeah. I, I never did not admit it. That was that was Marcy. I never did. I just said I'm not African American. I don't like that term because you could be a white South African and you're an African American. Ah, uh, okay. I, I, I see what I'm saying. Like I don't want to be lumped into no group. I'm, I'm my own guy. Because you're not from Africa. I am from Africa. Technically, by way of my ancestry. But I mean, you're not. Yeah, I didn't get off a plane from Nigeria. Africa. Yeah, I didn't get off a plane from Nigeria or Lagos or Any Ghana. Yeah, big shout to me. I was able to name more than one. You know, most black people be like, yo, we go to Africa. Where in Africa? Africa. Can you name a country? Africa. No, Africa's not a country. It's a continent. Big shout to you if you know that. But there's also a percentage of people that are Hindu, so but the vast majority of uh, Islamic countries now, to some people, Islam is kind of, I don't want to say a subject or a subjugating religion to women. Yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of, you know, Muslim women that are coming out that are more empowered. Yeah, big shout out to Saudi Arabia, women can drive as of last month. Yeah, big shout out to Saudi Arabia, that's big. Not, not just that. Right. Well, you're saying they can actually drive as of last right, month. Right, right. Wow, that's, that's the, the progress in, in Saudi Arabia is amazing. It's amazing. Women can actually drive. They probably don't have a lot of accidents, though. <laughs> 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 I'm playing. I don't want no emails. Keep your fucking emails to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what the incidences of, uh, of accidents are in Saudi Arabia. And, and then the let's give it like a year. Let's yeah, see if, this, if it me, goes yeah, up like. You give me some time. Yeah, like go. Accidents have increased 786 <laughs> percent. <laughs> we shout the Asian drivers too. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None. I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. Asian drivers too. That is crazy because the women they show is so lower than me. Yeah, because they drive more carefully. Well, they have more accidents. I would. Do they? I would assume so. You assume so? <laughs> uh, the views of DJ Hollywood are not necessarily the views of Manny LeVon Shore, the management of Power 104 FM, the underground. You know what it is. So this whole reality, it's, it's intriguing to me because, I, you know, I got a thing for black women. Big shout out to black women. Right. But, like, I couldn't imagine having two black women wives. 
That's a lot of. That's a lot of. That's a lot. Yeah, that that's a lot. Like they might get together and decide to murder me one day. Like, like yo, we can split the insurance. That's rough. You know what I'm talking about. Like you may have to get like you know, a, a very timid woman and a very strong woman. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if I would want two very powerful women. Powerful women is gonna. Yeah, but two of them. That's like that's like World War Three in your house every day. I would I would hope not. Is that something that you think you would like to do? Would you would you want to have more than one woman? Nah, you, you wouldn't want to. Nah, I'm you, just, you just don't want no problems. But I'm realistically, stretched out already. You're, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's tough with just one wife. How do you oh, handle yeah. two? two right. They gotta be. I, I think two. It's a it's a societal thing where if you're reared to kind of be, you know, right, on that level of, I don't want to say subjugation, but on that level of submissiveness to right, your husband. Right. Then I guess it will work, but if you just your average poppy neck American chick, it's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Yeah, it, it has to be a mindset. Yeah, and it's not like you know. I think a lot of people get it twisted too. I don't think there's gonna be any. You know, there's gonna be any threesomes. It's just literally two separate relationships with two women. Now, one of the realities is is that most black men don't cheat. Make sure the black men. We know black that. men don't cheat. Black men. Don't. There's only other races and the five black dudes that do. But no, those are niggas. Yeah, big shout the niggas. Um, but most most men who are on some fuck shit is gonna be creeping, right? You know what I'm saying? Like you know they're creeping. So the conversations that I've had with a few women about this doing my research is that you might as well have everything out in the open. Look, you know I'm smashing Keisha up the block. You know what I'm saying? She get that disability check that could really help the household out. <laughs> Bitch out the Eric Gates because all Eric Gates thinks about is your son. She gonna bring more money in the house, so right. therefore you should bring her in. That seems to be the two things: sex and money. Sex and money. Yeah, but still, but it's like, but now it's Taco Tuesday and Taco Wednesday. Right. Because. So how many wives are you trying to get? Right now, Akon's on his. He's trying to get his fifth. Fifth, yeah. Man, but Akon has a lot of money. That's true. So the the, the it seems like the. The, the, the common denominator is money. Well, shout out to Akon, because he's starting to... Uh, he's he's still spending Lady Gaga checks. Nah, but he said he's going to create his own country by really? 2025. Like Econia? I guess. Cryptocurrency, all of that. Mm. That's what happened to Gaddafi, and you see what happened to Gaddafi. You know. He was trying to merge Africa, and we all know that wasn't. Well, that's what I'm saying, but when you start with once, like he's, we got one troublemaker, let's get rid of this guy before right. it starts to spread like wildfire. Yeah, he was gonna he was gonna put everybody under the gold standard and unify Africa. Right. Big shout out to Gaddafi. I know y'all motherfuckers you sold the dream, but big shout out to Gaddafi. He would systematically bankrupt the whole world by doing uh, no, it would just be a fresh start because America runs the world because everybody has to keep Ameri- you have to keep dollar reserves. But in we're your talking bank. about money, right? And gold, right? So, for example, where most is money the- is not backed by anything other than that word. But of that I'm government. saying, where is most of the gold at? Uh, America and Africa, right? Right. Well, so, it's more in Africa than it is America. Absolutely, so that was the goal. It was systematically. But either way, it would still be backed by something. So I think up until 1960 but, something, we were backed by gold but or silver. But if we talk silver. about gross domestic product, Africa has everything. Yeah, but they're so far in debt to every other nation, they got nothing. But if we, if they were to unify, mm-hmm. they'd be able to pay off that debt with no problem. That's true. But then... You can't uh, have a free Africa. Well, it, yeah, because it kills the rest of the world. Right. They need to keep their their, their, their foot on our respective uh, necks. Right. That was never going to happen. Well, it could happen. It could. I mean, because the Chinese are coming in. But it, it takes more than just one person to try to do it. Yeah. It's going to take some real... We need they need a they need like an African CIA to topple governments and make right. shit work because America right. topples governments like on Wednesdays for fun. <laughs> but we would have to unify Africa also. That's that's, that's doable. <sighs> if all of the coloreds left America and went back to the motherland, it's hard to get niggas to go down the block, let alone Africa. Got to give them free Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Ah, they got Popeye's. We, we, we still we reserve about, for Popeye's chicken we built, sandwiches. We built five thousand new Popeyes in Africa. Black people coming. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody gets a free chicken sandwich every Monday and Tuesday. They'll be there. The, the, the planes wouldn't get there fast enough. We would not. The thing is, though, would America let let all of the colors leave? They'd be like, we can't let any more of you people leave. Mm. We need we need new slang. We need music. They keep telling us to go back home. 
Uh, that's like that's like you know the five percent of black white people on some white supremacy shit. Though. The rest of them know. BBC is not about the television. Big shout out to us. Ah. I'm, just I'm white women know what time it is. <laughs> BBC, I don't. I'm not talking about the network. I'm filthy. Big shout out to me. I'm just saying. Always filthy. Always filthy. But we enlighten through ignorance. So, ladies and gentlemen, it has been clearly decreed to me that we are not uh, dealing with any type of. Uh, polygamous relationships as far as DJ Hollywood's concerned. Nah, Hollywood's I, fine would, with one black woman. That's enough of a... You would have to find two or multiple women with that same mindset. Which is not hard to do. I just don't think you can find a... Mar- well, you can find can American Can they say woman. it and actually do it, me too? It's like well, look, if a pimp can pimp a chick and make her go on the streets, I think you can talk a woman that having a relationship with you and, and, and another, you know what I'm saying, and another woman and it's loving and you can have kids. And the thing is, is Let's look at the pros. Okay. You got built-in babysitting. Right. So when I'm with wifey number two, wifey number one holds down the kids and vice versa. But what if wifey number two wants to be, wants the same night that you were wifey number one? Well, that's the thing. Of course, it's going to be like being divorced. You're going to have a schedule for the kids. Like, okay, well, I get them on Christmas. I get them on New Year's. I get them on Wednesdays and Fridays, except for months with a full just, moon. I just see multiple shit going on. <laughs> well that's because she only been... she gets to go out on the good days and I well, yeah, that's what the conversation is about so you get an almanac like okay it's gonna be sunny for 70 percent of the month <laughs> that sounds so... like a lot of work bro <laughs> <laughs> well it's gotta be a lot more work for you to be for you to be trying to creep you run in an almanac <laughs> i'm saying because you like well she gets all the good days so you gotta mm. do that but i think most people i mean it's not really gonna be that difficult i mean most of the research I've done, they alternate. So sometimes some relationships they'll do week by week. Some relationships they'll do every other day. You know what I'm saying? Only thing is the set. And then I guess the man gets one day a week for himself. Mm. Maybe Sundays for football. I don't know. Yeah. It's not too I bad. I don't know. So we get the. Building. I would have to see a successful one in order to. Oh, there's a lot of successful ones. I would have to see it myself. You just scared. You don't want the problems. That's. It's a lot, bro. Not really, because look, let me ask you this. I guess you'll have somebody to keep a company. I think, well, here's the <laughs> thing, too. Like, do you think it's mainly about sex for men? I think it's always about sex. It's about sex for men. We just want options. Yeah. Well, shit, if that's the case, get you got one of them damn dolls. Nah. We should have to manufacture them dolls. They get better and better every year. Every year. Every year. It's going to be a point where you're going to come home. Put your mother on the phone. I got a doll. I ain't coming home. Never no coming home. I got upgrades. <laughs> <laughs> I, I brought the premium <laughs> the platinum package. Yeah, I couldn't help but buy it. <laughs> She's an Android. Big shout out to Android. She talks. And then, God forbid, when Apple gets one, right. then she can only do one thing at a time anyway, like the yeah, dumbass Apple phones. Fucking a doll you sound. can't, you can't, but you can't multitask with Apple. So mm. she's gonna be like a one trick. What's pony. in your CBD? Legacy Botanicals has the highest quality CBD on the market. It is a COT extraction, which means it's the cleanest possible way. We test by the billions for pesticides and harmful chemicals. Most only test by the millions. We have tinctures, hemp, and smokable CBD products. You always ask for a certificate of authenticity and compare it to ours. Please check out the link in the description below and get 20% off when you use the code LOVE. Legacy Botanical. No, you imagine... First of all, that's wrong. Second of all... It'll be like the you imagine hole. <laughs> Fucking a doll that sounds like Siri. Nah, they're gonna... They're gonna uh, look, if you notice, though, like with Alexa and all that, they're now using celebrity voices. Yeah. So you can get Samuel Jackson. So yeah. you could probably get Rihanna or... You gotta pay for that shit. Yeah, I'm sure. Found out the hard way. You could probably get like a Rihanna voice or like, you know... Janet Jackson, Naomi, whoever, whoever makes you, you know, whoever makes you hot in the bathtub. Really, uh, <laughs> I see you keep looking at the. We gonna have to fix that shit at some point. <laughs> well, uh, well, we're gonna be good. No, we're not. We're, no, we're, we're not. We're, 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 we're fucked. We're fucked. Well, I guess I could do this. Right? Yeah, you can just start one of those. Yes. We'll be back. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we got time because we'll, we'll, we'll rock it to commercial. All right. Um, but on the pro side, you got two different women that could cook. Right. So, you know, now see, be, me being the kind of guy I am, if I had to have two wives, right. I'm going to want probably a woman who can cook American food mm-hmm. and maybe a little West Indian on a low. And then I might have to go with like an Asian because I may want sushi and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I would want like two completely opposite sides of the spectrum on my diet. I mean, you can always go to restaurants. Yeah, but you know, it's nothing like, you know, having your chick cook naked. 
know, for you on your night. Like you got kids in the house, man. Well, that's if I got two wives, you send all of them to the other wife's house. Ah. Come on, you're not oh, seeing yeah, the big you got picture. The, you got the two house set Come up. on, son. I'm not gonna deny. Or at least have two floors. Like, don't come upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> big shout out to me for thinking that. Other mommy's naked. Other mommy's <laughs> naked. Don't come upstairs. <laughs> now that has to be confusing for the kids, too. Well, clearly not. I mean, it's going on in, in, in Mormon land and Iowa. Was it? No. Utah. Every day. I guess. There was this show on HBO called Big Love. Love oh, that show. Yeah. You ever watched Big I, Love? Yeah, I watched a few of them. And he had three wives. And he had three. Now, what he did was he Wait, bought three houses. What was the guy that had, to... like, I think he had, like, five or six wives? I think that was a different show, probably. Probably. That's, that's, that might be a little greedy. But they Five were, or six. They were always arguing with each the other. The wives? Too. Yeah. But they probably didn't have their own houses. Because if you figure, if you not corrupt four times, Nah, got some of them kids. did have their own house. Mm-hmm. Some, and I think a majority of them lived with him. There's quite a few of them. Mm. So you get like six women nagging you at the same time. Yes. <laughs> One nagging you was enough. Right. But at some point in history... The decision was made that it was going to be no more multiple wives. And right. It's going to be one guy, one girl. When did that happen? I have no idea. Because in the Bible, you got the Adam and Eve thing. I think it's the, the Bible problem. Yeah, but then as soon as as soon as they leave Eden, and then all of a sudden, magically, there's 10 million people on the other sides of the world. <laughs> there's people who got multiple wives when you, when they leave the Garden of Eden. I want y'all to listen to what he said. <laughs> well, yeah, because I'm saying, you know, when they magically well, yeah. left, it was like, you know, their son found you a wife. You see how and, that's an impossibility that two people populated the whole earth? We, they ain't ready for that. Bitch, you, you ready for that, but you ain't ready for that. No, because what happened was that, that, no, it's two people didn't populate though. But they ain't they ain't ready for that. We don't want no problems. Uh, we shot the Illuminati. We don't want to. We don't want. Maybe wanna, I want a little bit of problem. We don't want a problem. Illuminati gonna kill us. Come on, stop it. <laughs> like they didn't, they broke down out of an Eve. Kill them. <laughs> we, we don't want no problems. We shot the Illuminati. Yeah. Okay. A little bit, but different cuisines. Okay. Right? You have built-in babysitting. Uh huh. I would want an enterprising woman. One of them? Both of them have to be enterprising. So So they're going to start businesses. Absolutely. And take care of the kids. When you go to bed at night, you whisper in in her ear, I want to create generational wealth with you and a family. Well, you were both of them. Yeah, well, well, it depends. Monday. Well, you, know, you, got the two, I got, uh, you got the two house set up. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to put two women in the same house. Well, well, it depends on how they work. What if they like best friends? Mm, that that might be work. That might work. But but then would it cause then, a, yeah, a strain on their relationship well, as women, being best friends? Women kind of fall out in and out of friendship a lot. That's true. I've noticed. That's true. But what if she has like one side of the house and the other one has like the other? Need a pretty side. big house. Yeah. Well, you got three incomes. That bitch can't cook. I ain't eat her food. I'm going to my kitchen. I'm going to my kitchen. Now you got to build two kitchens. Yeah, but look, it's cheaper in the long run because if you creeping with some chick named whatever, you right. spending money on her. Fact, like like a dude told me a long time ago, cheating is not the, the act of sex with another woman. It's sharing your intimacy with another woman. Mm. It's sharing your money and all that. So w- once you get to the point where you are intimate with another woman on that level, she is in effect your wife or your you know partner on a on a much more you know what I'm saying different level if you're just showing up to bang her out and leave that's just like that's no different than prostitution right but if you are having conversations you're eating together you're having real meaningful connections y'all talk a lot that's a relationship yeah that's true big shout to relationships now now we got built in food we got built in daycare right again I would want enterprising women so we got Multiple streams of income coming in. We're living the American dream, baby. Three incomes? That's three what incomes. it takes to survive now. That's what I'm saying. Oh, three yes. incomes. And then, you know, maybe she speaks Spanish. So she could teach her kid Spanish. Ah. Maybe she's a computer programmer. She could teach her kid how to code. So there's a lot of things going on at play here. Oh, and no. then, like, you know, was it takes a village to raise a child, right? Yeah, you got a whole damn village in your house. Big shot the villages in your house. <laughs> as long as y'all clean up after your filthy asses, it's going to work. But like you know how sometimes your kid, they can't. Your kids, even though in your mind you think you got a great relationship with your kids, and you may have one, but there's certain things your kids are not gonna come to you with. Nah. They may go to Uncle Willie. Hey, Uncle Willie, I met this girl. She wants me to do something between her legs. I don't know what to do. Uncle Willie tells them what to do. 
Big shout out to Willie. <laughs> we talking about polygamy, like having yeah, polygamy. more than one wife. Having more than one wife. Now, the kids may get a relationship with the other wife, and they may be able to share things with that wife that they can't tell to the main wife. But then the side wife or the wife number two can go back to the main wife and be like, "Oh, on the low." You this know, is what's going Yeah, little Billy has got a jerk-off problem. You need to maybe <laughs> do something about that. You know what I'm saying? So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to a commercial break. Pay we'll attention, people. This Pay attention, is people. Over.